Hey growers, so I finally got my blue lips pH soil meter and I'm about to do a quick calibration video before I test it out. So I have my 7.0 solution, my calibration solution and my 4.0 and I have my blue lips pH meter. It's pretty large, I thought it would come a lot smaller and the probe itself is made out of glass so it's very fragile and it said that the tip needs to be moist or wet at all times and we're gonna see how easy it is to calibrate so I'm about to turn it on one second turn it on and you're supposed to twist not pull the outer casing off and keep in mind it's glass and very fragile so don't knock it around even when you're testing your solutions don't don't knock it on anything or drop it because you're gonna be out of luck so you twist the cap off and it there's a, it comes with solution already and it's supposed to be just enough solution to keep the tip of the probe wet or moist so I'm gonna find somewhere to put this because I don't lose that solution and then we're gonna calibrate okay so my pH meter is already on and I'm going to drop, dip it in my solution and see how easy this is and it's also said to change from Celsius to Fahrenheit you just push the units button on the bottom and it should change I'll show you that shortly and currently the temperature is on if I can see it get the right lighting kind of hard to see so my temperature is on Celsius so I'm gonna change mine to Fahrenheit and right now it is sitting in the 7.0 solution and it's at 6.8 right now looks like it's actually going down 6.8 to 6.7 so we'll see what happens and then I will calibrate doesn't seem to be moving from 6.7 so what I'm about to do now is hit the calibration button so you just push the button and it will start flashing and it will pick up the solution and calibrate itself to the solution that it's in and you will know when it's done when it stops it's kinda hard to get proper lighting right now so it's still calibrating and it should show 7.0 and it's finished so now it is calibrated to 7.0 solution so what I'm gonna do after this so I'm going to rinse it off and I'm gonna calibrate again with my 4.0 so stay tuned okay so I have rinsed off my pH probe and now I'm about to put it into my 4.0 solution so I put it in my 4.0 just to see if it picks up 4.0 before I calibrate it It's down to 4.4, 4.3, and it seems to have stopped at 4.3. No, sorry, 4.2. So it takes a while to calibrate, about well, to pick up the pH. So just wait and make sure it's actually and completely focused on a certain number before you take the prayer boat takes a while to calibrate 
So just wait and see until you're positive that it has stopped just so you don't get inaccurate readings and it looks like it has stopped at 4.1 which is actually pretty good because that's the solution that I have so it's 4.1 but it's supposed to be 4.0 so this is pretty pretty accurate so I'm liking this blue lips So now I'm going to change my temperature. So you just push the units button. So you hold the button down. You hold the button down until it flashes and then you push it to the setting that you want. So you hold the button down and when it flashes, you push the button once or twice to get the Celsius or Fahrenheit that you're looking for. So I've put mine on Fahrenheit and without me calibrating the pan again, it's picked up 4.0. So this is really good. I like this pen.